Hi there. Now for this question, we were told that the sum of the first two terms of a geometric sequence came to 34 and the sum to infinity was 162. And we were asked to work out the first term of the sequence and the common ratio. Well, the common ratio turns out to be 8 ninths and the first term turns out to be 18. So just to take you through this in case there are any problems, what I've done is I've listed out the terms in a geometric sequence, A being the first term. We multiply each term by the common ratio R, so you're going to get AR and then AR squared, AR cubed and so on. So the sum of the first terms we're told is 34, so it's going to give me A plus AR is 34. And we should know that the sum to infinity is given by this formula, a over 1 minus r. So I've put that equal to 162, as we're told that the sum is to infinity is 162. So it's just a question of working out the simultaneous equations. I've continued with this equation and made a the subject by multiplying both sides by 1 minus r. So that gives me this line here. And so I've numbered my equations 1 and 2, and I can substitute equation 2 into equation 1, and that will allow me to get R. So doing that, we get this line here, and then expanding this bracket gives me this line, and simplifying it brings me down to R squared equals 64 over 81. Now, to get R, we obviously take the square root of this, and... It could be plus or minus 8 ninths. But we know that, or we're told, that the common ratio is a positive value, so it's got to be greater than 0, as all the terms have got to be positive. So, therefore, R has to be 8 ninths. And then to get the first term, A, it's just a question of substituting 8 ninths then back into, say, equation 2, which is what I've done. And that gives us A equaling 18. Okay?